13.51 turf sprint, starts on the turf course at the end, entrance to the back straight, Jumbi, who can sleep. Bathrat Leon was slow away, rousted along, and will he be able to get through that gap? No, I think is the answer, squeezed up there, and had to take a check. Matilda Picot and Art Power from the wide out gates with Win Greatest, and also racing handily, Dr. Zemp. Also being sent forward is cold front in the white cap, Jumbi's recovered to track the leaders on the rails with Win Win Greatest. The big white face of Mysterious Knight is three wide at this stage. Bathrat Leon had to go right the way back to the rear and fired up amongst horses byline on the outside of Anaf, then the grey King Cold as they take the turn and right at the back is Ra'ed, Matilda Bacot got right over from gate 14, bags the rail from Art Power, racing in third is Dr Zemp in yellow and red, Cold Front comes next with Win Greatest, Jumbi waiting for a gap on the inside running rail as they make the turn, behind these is Lala Christine who races in the striped colours Mysterious Knight with work to do, as has Bathrat Leon as Matilda Bacot tries to kick off the front end Win Win Greatest, Anna burrowing under the rail. Behind these is Strange Straight, is Lala Christine who's making ground and also making ground Aguri for Japan. Up the rail goes Anna, has threaded the needle from Win Win Greatest as they head towards the line. It is Anna, what a ride from Ross Orion, has got up the rail and another international success for Mick Appleby. Anaf won it, Lala Christine rattled home for second, in third was Byline I think, Matilda McCott couldn't last home, win greatest also involved in that for the places, Anaf, a dream run up the inside running rail, jumped from stall 12 and has beaten into second place Lala Christine, in third Byline who was pulling fiercely, win greatest Matilda McCott, then Aguri, Bathrat Leon, it all went wrong at the start, a mysterious night put in a woeful run, just one from the tail. Yeah, get used to seeing this man smiling abroad. You've, done, you've done another huge international race. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, Ross has given an absolute peach to a ride from the draw he had. Uh, got a great run up the inside. I thought, oh, he's not going to get through there, but he did it. So, yeah, no, really good, really good. What made you come here, Mick? The money. Other than the, <laughs> the money. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, Tell it, Alex. I mean, like, I, I thought he had a great chance. I mean, we gave him a run, a prep run in the catcher stage where he finished second and probably were very unlucky. Then Dillich and Tavis just tranked the form in the list of races at Summers. Uh, I mean, that was a great run there, and what you spot on for today. And when he does it like that, I mean, what a buzz that must have been. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a good horse, very good horse. Yeah. Who's wasn't it racing? Is this the. Uh, this, this is the owner, Ed. This is. Ed. How, how you, Ed, how are you feeling? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Fabulous trainer, fabulous horse, fabulous jockey. <laughs> what an experience. This guy for an international raid all of a sudden, he's the new man, isn't he? Went to Korea a few years ago when we started it. <laughs> He's amazing, brilliant. Just tell me about the buzz when he crossed the line. I'm still taking it all in, jumping up and down. Couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe he got, got to the rail. Amazing. Great stuff. Ed, delighted for you, Mick. Thank well you. done. Enjoy yeah. it. Well Thank done. you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.